Hello everyone, Sebastiano here of CodyHouse.co. In this video, uh, I want to show you how to create a dark theme for your web project and how to switch from a light to a dark theme. Uh, just to show you an example of what I mean, we can uh, check the website of Sarah So Way Done and uh, there is a settings icon over here. If you click on the icon, you have the option to turn on the dark mode. When you do so, you can see the website changes, the background is black, uh, the text is lighter now, and, and so on. So we want to create something similar. And we're going to use CSS custom properties, and I'm going to base this little project on the Cody House framework just because it makes my life so much easier. Okay, so um, I've already downloaded the framework. You can, do the, you can do so as well uh, to follow along. And then we have to, um, once the framework is downloaded, we can, we can just navigate to the folder. And then we can run npm, npm run gulp watch. Now, if you have just downloaded the folder, you should, uh, you should run first npm install to install the node modules. Because I have already done that, I can run npm run gulp watch. This is going to launch my project based on the gulp configuration. Okay, so uh, the page is empty. So if uh, we take a look at the source files, as you can see, I have already included also some of the components of Kodi House. So you will not find this folder components if you downloaded the framework. This is something I created. Uh, and inside this folder, we have just the CSS, the style of a few components. So if we go back to Kodi House um, and you click on the components page, you can see the uh, address right here. Then uh, you can uh, pick some components. Optionally, you can save them like I did. And then you can uh, view code, click the SCSS tab and copy the code. And then you can paste it into uh, the components folder. So each one of these files is a different component. And then everything is compiled. So I've imported into the style.scss the global, which is the framework, and then the components. And that's it. So this is the basic setup. Now we want to populate the index page. So let me show you why it is convenient and very handy to use the Kodi House components. Because you can, for example, uh, uh, click on view code, copy the HTML of the header. You can paste it here, save. And if you go back to your project page, the header is there and it's already responsive and everything. So that's really cool. So we are going to do the same real quick and we're going to copy the other components as well. So I'm copying, for example, the feature component. I just need the HTML and let's paste it right below the header. So one more feature. But this time I'm going to apply a modifier. Now let's go back. I want to include a pricing table as well. Copy. And then right below the feature component. And then finally, we are including a the footer. So view code copy and let's go here let's copy the folder as well now if you go back to the project as you can see we have all the components uh, there is some uh, vertical spacing which is obviously missing and we can fix this real easily by adding a uh, by using the margin utility classes for example we can apply a margin bottom uh, I don't know maybe LG to the other, then we will check and see if work if it, it looks okay. Then we can apply a margin bottom medium to the first feature section. Then we probably need a margin bottom XXL to this element. I'm going to copy this 
and apply a margin bottom XXL to the pricing table as well. Now, if we save and go back, as you can see, now the project is updated and we have enough space uh, between the components. Right, so we have the page. Now we want to change the style of this page and change its uh, theme from a light theme to a dark theme. So first of all, the basic idea behind uh, this um, switch is that you have to apply uh, variables to the elements of your page. So color variables. And then you have to update the values of these variables. And this is why it is so convenient to use custom properties compared to SAS uh, variables. Because you cannot do such thing in a, such an easy way using SAS variables. So let me show you um, the process. So if we go back to Code House and we check the color editor. So this is a tool that you can use to create, to set the color palette of your web project and to create color themes. So the, you, you don't really need to mind the first colors. So we have color primary, color accent, you know, the different colors, the brand colors. But the most important part, the, the part you want to really look into is the contrast scale. So this is uh, where the magic happens when it comes to creating uh, color themes. I'm selecting the contrast scale. As you can see, um, this is a scale of colors based on a combination of two colors, a background color and a higher contrast color. So the background color is white and we have a blackish color for the higher contrast color. Now we uh, store uh, and then we generate using this tool uh, a set of intermediate values. Then all you have to do is you have to apply these variables to different elements of your design. And this is what we already do in all of our components. So you can check the, the Code House components to see how the colors are applied. But just to give you an example, if you click on preview theme, if we consider this uh, very simple component, so we have applied the color contrast higher to the heading element, we have applied the color contrast high to the paragraph, we have applied, for example, color contrast low to the borders, also the borders of the form element, and then we have, for example, color contrast medium applied to the placeholder, and so on. So you can do the same for all your components. Now, uh, when you change these values, so you store different values into the variables, and then if you apply this change, for example, using a, a CSS class, you are updating the style just like that. You are creating a new theme. Let me show you how you can do such a thing. Let's uh, use the tool to create a new theme I'm creating, for example, a dark theme. Now I go back to the contrast scale and uh, I want to revert the values of the background and obviously I'm going to have to update the higher contrast value as well. So when I change the background color, it is like saying uh, in a way, uh, listen, I want to create a new theme which can be applied to a component or to a group of components where the color is black. Now, as you can see from the contrast scale, nothing else is visible. That's, that's because we haven't updated the higher contrast color. So I want this color to be uh, really easy to see considering uh, the new background color. So I'm going, to, I'm going to enter white. Here we go. Now, as you can see, we have uh, just like that, we have generated a new scale. So the variables are the same, but their values is changed. So now if we check the component, as you can see, we have a dark background and now the text is white and the borders, they are this kind of grayish um, color. So it's, it's really between white and, and black. Uh, and just like that, we have generated a new theme. If we go and check the code, because you can do the same process manually. So first of all, I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to replace the, um, 
the global color there it is. I'm going to replace this with the code we have just generated using the color editor. Now, as you can see, we have a new theme, the dark theme. Uh, what we're doing here, we are uh, overwriting uh, the, uh, the other colors, the colors of the, of the default theme, let's say. And specifically, we have changed the color contrast, which is this part over here. Now, say just for the sake of this experiment, I want to change also the color primary. I can do such thing. I can select color primary and I can pick a different pinkish color. Here we go. Copy the CSS and let's replace this. Right. Now, uh, check this out. If we go back to our project, we know we can apply a new theme base, based on the Code House framework by writing dark theme by using data types. So I'm going to target directly the body and I'm going to enter data theme dark. Boom! As you can see, all the colors have been updated. The color primary now has been updated. The background is different and the text is, is white. Uh, the, the saddle text is also updated with the grayish color and so on. It's really easy. You just have to know which values uh, have to be updated and uh, you have to know how to proper, properly uh, apply color variables to your uh, to the elements of your components just like that now we have a light theme and we have a dark theme so we just need the switch just for the sake of this tutorial so once again i'm going to use one of our components this switch over here I'm going to copy the html and then going to paste this element this little fella here into my header I'm going to replace this button and I'm going to paste this here. Finally, I'm going to remove the data theme dark from here and save. Here we go. Now, if we trigger the uh, switch, nice. So we have the effect we were looking for. Uh, so this element here is basically is a checkbox. So for this to work, if we check the this little script we have at the bottom of the index, so this is something I've added before starting uh, um, the tutorial, so you will not find this one into the framework as well. So, so this is just for the sake of uh, this demo. I'm just checking on, uh, um, I'm just looking for an element with the, the switch class and I'm looking for a change status and I'm applying uh, when this status when this status is changed a data theme dark to the body. So it's just as simple as that. So all you have to do is find a way to apply the data theme dark to the body. And when this is applied, as you can see, all the components are updated. So all the style is now the new style. All you have to do, I cannot stress this enough, you just have to learn how to uh, apply the right color variables to the elements of your components. So you have to generate color themes and one way to do such a thing is by using a tool like the color editor that we have created and then you have to apply these components to the, sorry, these variables to elements of your components. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, very long video and uh, thanks for watching.